Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick uh, update to the future of Windows. We often like to talk about the future of Windows and what's happening with the operating system. Um, well, this one will focus on Windows 10X and we'll have a second video with another type of news for the desktop version and we'll talk about that. So Windows 10X is something that's you know started to have some news we started to have some news about in 2019 and then it came to what could be foldable devices and um, now it was um, rumored to be first on uh, laptops and desktops so it's kind of moving around but we don't really know what direction it's taking We've got some news today, and a lot of it comes from uh, what uh, Mary Jo Foley of the blog AllAboutMicrosoft.com, and she talks about how this is a um, there is a big change coming up. So first of all, Windows 10 X is now delayed until 2021, and what is worse is that it won't be what we think of. It won't have native support for Win32 apps. What does that mean? That means essentially you'll be stuck with a Windows 10 that runs uh, like Windows 10 S. That means any apps, any of your favorite programs that are not from the Microsoft Store will not run within the operating system. And I think that is already a problem. If that happens, that will kill Windows 10 X from the start. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video and I said we got to be careful with this because Windows 10 X could be like any other Windows 10 variant that they tried over the past few years and just die without being adopted. Well, this is a first nail in the coffin, I think, for Windows 10 X. Win32 support for Windows 10 X would not come before 2022. And that is when it would be ready for the um it would be ready for the uh, foldable devices so it's kind of weird uh, it seems like they're having a, a huge problem with this and apparently some of the windows 10 desktop resources will now be reassigned to windows 10 x which is kind of interesting the other thing that we now kind of know is that they are targeting Windows 10 X because it's not a new Windows it's really Windows 10 but they took out a lot of the extra fluff around it to make it slimmer and what's happening is that um, by doing so they also are kind of targeting lower end devices for this that would mean laptops or desktops that are underpowered with you know less power less ram um so is that strategy a good one i'm not sure but you know if it would be capable of win32 apps okay we'll see but if in the first release it's like windows 10 s nobody's using windows 10 s nobody wants windows 10 s well nobody will want windows 10 x slim down version if you can't run your favorite apps and I don't understand why Microsoft cannot see that the core of why we want to use Windows is because we have our favorite programs that we install in it so I don't know it uh, doesn't look like it's going well for Microsoft with Windows 10 X and uh, we'll see what the future brings but uh, this is not a good sign and all the delays also are not a good sign. It seems like it's probably not going the way they want. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.